The Kingdom Six by REI. I promise not to use that voice again. I just wanted to use it for this. There is also a four and an eight but I want the six, which I think is the middle ground, which is the best way to go. The bag is pretty big and uh, it weighs about 19 pounds and 12 ounces to be exact. It's not really your backcountry tent, you know? But what makes it really cool are these super sweet backpack straps. And look at me in action, bam. It is pretty cool that you can carry it as a backpack, but I think hiking with it for long periods of time would probably not be that comfortable. Now it's time to see what's in the bag. You got the tent, you got the fly, you got the poles, the stakes, and the guy lines. Though known fact, they're called guy lines and not guidelines. Put that in your know-it-all pocket. And that is all that comes in the bag. Now it's time to open this massive tent up. And right away you'll notice that this six person tent is huge. And the floor space alone is 83 feet, which is awesome. Cool thing too, the directions are real simple and they're right on the bag, which I love. This is the moment when I realized they tell you that you should set this tent up with two people. Yeah, but guess what? I'm going solo. <laughs> is that a smart move? Well. If you have uh, seen my other videos, uh, you can judge for yourself. Well, we'll just move on to setting up the poles. The main two poles will have these two little doohickeys on them. Yeah, doohickeys. We're going to go with that officially. And you're going to place one of these poles in the front and the other doohickey pole in the back. The way you know how to place this pole is, oh my god, got to watch my face on that one, uh, is you want that short end to kind of face outside the tent, away from the tent. And that's it. Then you're going to swim through an ocean full of fabric until you find the middle of the tent. And there's a little hole or loop in the middle there and you're going to send the middle of those poles right through that hoop then connect them in the middle using these orange lines for a guide as you can see so far it's pretty damn easy but uh you know never doubt my ability to f things up i did feel though that uh i'd earned a break so i got some water got my sunglasses took my shoes off now i'm ready to go and now time for the last pole the middle pole once you put it together you're going to send it right through that middle sleeve and that's it. This part confused me a little bit, but that's just me, probably. Uh, you're gonna uh, find these little holes that you're gonna put the end of the poles in. I don't, I don't know why I'm doing that. That's kind of gross. Uh, you're gonna put one end in one side and then go around and do the other end in the other side. I know. Can you follow that? That's it. All right, now it's time to raise the tent. And you can definitely set it up with one person. REI is just a bunch of liars. I mean, if I can do it, you can definitely do it, trust me. And lastly, you're gonna take these clips and you're gonna clip them to the tent frame. So easy, so fast. It is done. I think I'm ready for a nap. But there were no time for naps. As you can see though, this tent is huge. I mean, I was very excited. Maybe too excited? Nah. Once this tent was set up and I started looking at the features, I was even more impressed. Can't you tell from my voice? how impressed I am. <laughs> Let's just start with the divider wall that separates the tent into two spaces, which is pretty cool. Not only can you anchor it to the floor when it's closed so it won't flap around in the wind, you can also roll the doors back and get good airflow throughout the tent. The one problem I have with the doors, there should be a second cinch spot so they won't just hang and flop around in the wind. A great attention to detail is there's pockets in all the walls of the tent. So my favorite feature, which I've never seen before, but maybe I'm just a noob, you can just quick stuff the doors in a pocket above the exits, instead of having to spend time rolling them back and cinching them. Lastly, I put the fly on, which is pretty straightforward. And the fastest way to get it up is to locate the two Velcro tabs. The two Velcro tabs connect to the tent on the front and the back. Then pull the fly down around the tent, connect the clips and cinch them down. Yeah, baby. Then stake out the vestibule, and honestly, it's the most massive vestibule I think I've ever seen. When you roll back this sucker, you're gonna see that you could probably fit like five of you in there, unless you're really chubby. Nothing wrong with being chubby. But no, seriously, it is awesome how big the vestibule is. You can fit so much stuff in this vestibule, and it's kind of awesome if you had a lot of people staying in the same tent. You can even stand up in the vestibule. If you can't figure it out by now, you can tell I really like this tent. It actually reminds me a lot of the Monkey Hut design, except it's lighter, easier to pack, and a lot more airflow. Another thing you can do with the Kingdom Tents is you can add a garage onto it, so you even have more space for storage. Between being able to stand up in it comfortably and having so much floor space, I think this tent is great for a large family or a big group of people, especially for a festival or some kind of car camping scenario. Again, I'll say I don't think it's the best option for deep woods camping. This tent is definitely a little expensive, but you know, maybe you split it between a bunch of people. It is a co-op tent after all right? Isn't that what that means? In the end, if having a good time in the great outdoors is getting a bunch of your friends or family together, then I suggest checking out the REI Co-op Kingdom tents. Or if you're selfish just like me and you take up a lot of room when you sleep, this could also be a great option. To each his own, right? 
All right. Thanks for watching. I'm the Clamp Guru. Please comment or subscribe below. Uh, yeah. Have a good day.